What's up YouTube? I am out here in Lithia Park um, getting in a little bit of a walk. Yes, getting in a little bit of a walk, which as I mentioned in last week's video, I had been cutting out um, and now I'm sort of like ramping it back up, but slowly and smartly. Um, one big addition I made to my life this week was I bought myself a pair of trekking poles. Um, it has the cap on it right now just because of where I'm standing at. Um, but basically there's a, like a little carbine foot under here. Let's not drop our trekking pole. So that's usually for soft surfaces, but if you need the support on hard surfaces, and most of the time you don't use these, but um, if you're walking on a hard surface, you're supposed to have the feet on it. Um, so I looked up trekking poles. I looked up the proper use for trekking poles. It's something you can use to alleviate some of your balance even when you are a hundred percent healthy and sporty and you know at the top of your game um they're just a really really useful tool um and it was a cool thing to look up and it was very very helpful when i was kind of ready to stand up and walk around a little bit more but my knee was not at a hundred percent um so i'm really glad i added those but they're even better <laughs> um with the knee a little closer to uh to, to, to where it is now. Um, so before I get into any details about, you know, this week and how's it, how it went, let's look back at some of the stuff that I recorded this week. All right, YouTube, we're starting another week of fitness attempts. So yesterday was Monday and honestly, um, except for having to re-upload a whole video, um, I didn't do much. Um, and I did that on purpose. Um, I gave myself a day of full rest without stress, except for the fact I did run errands, so I did walk on the lake. back to Sunday so how am I doing now that it's Sunday um, I um, did a little bit of a stretch routine this morning and I did like 10 minutes of cardio and because I kind of want to get back on hardcore not super hardcore but I would say about 80% um, of what I was doing starting next week um, I, I did I still wanted to take it easy today and really make Monday which is the day you're seeing this um, the day that I really try to start to get things back ramped up properly. So I had a couple of days this week where I probably pushed through a little bit more than I should. I had some days where, you know, uh, I kind of laid off a bit. Monday was, was a frustrating day for me. Um, I was really, really sad about the injury. Um, but the question is, how is the knee doing? So I'm going to put these trucking poles down for a second. And so, you want to know how the knee is doing, right? So let's do something. Alright, that 
was just me being silly. <laughs> um, most of the time it doesn't bother me at all. Every once in a while, you know, about like 80%, 95% to a routine, I'll start to feel a little something. I'll just have to peel off, sit down for about 20, 30 minutes or so. Sometimes I give myself a little hour rest and then I'm perfectly functional again. Um, I'm not really having any noticeable issues as of this point that are really debilitating. Sometimes with injuries, all you can do is let them heal. And right now I'm not seeing any signs that things are getting any worse. So that is good. Now the big question of the week, let's just go ahead and get into it. Did I lose any weight? Before I get into this, um, I like to mention that last week I lost a lot of weight and I was still disappointed because I couldn't move. And I knew that would be a big setback. My inability to like move around and get going and do the things I was doing. So that was like super frustrating. Whereas the end of this week, I'm feeling very hopeful about um, moving forward, about being able to do things <laughs> again. But according to my scale, I gained two pounds. So I went from 308.8 last week to 310.8 this week. I will say the more I sit around, um, the more I think about um, eating out of boredom. And I've always known that's a problem for me. So it's just something I deal with. Um, I still didn't, I still was doing my protein shakes every morning. I think I might have had salads for lunch four out of five times this week. Um, it isn't like I went crazy, but I definitely was more lax this week because I was more lax physically than I have been in previous weeks. And that's why I always say the two things go together, the activity and the diet. When I'm doing things, when my brain is active, when I can be active, I'm not thinking about eating out of boredom. And boredom eating is one of my biggest like problems and one of the biggest things I'm working through. So that's all I got for this video. That's all I got for this update this week. I'm hoping even more improvements next week. As far as physically, I do, I feel sort of the laxness of like the last week, just trying to let the knee recover. But I also like, I don't feel like I lost any of my major energy, if that makes any sense. I don't know. All right, really, end of this video. I'll see you in other videos this week. And on this particular subject, We'll check in again next Monday. As we close out this video, I'm just going to show you some footage from my walk in and around Lithia Park. <laughs>